Hey guys, this is the DeFi Addict and uh, this is my first video about QSwap and we are going to talk about or we I'm going to show you how to bridge your funds from BSC to KCC using the bridge function in uh, QSwap and uh, while we're at it we're going to add some liquidity because why well, I, uh, I have some funds to compound and it's been a while since I compounded so uh, it's it's about time so let's start first of all of course you go to qswap finance the site is loading ah, there you go uh, my wallet is already connected and uh, there you go bridge i'm going to transfer the funds now it is pretty easy bridge there you go i'm going to transfer busd because that's what i have in my metamask on the bsc chain to kcc i click on that as you can see i've got about uh, 29 dollars in my uh, bsc uh, b of uh, busd in my uh, bsc uh, wallets I'm going to only uh, I'm going to transfer uh, half of it you put in the amount you want to uh, you want to deposit you click cross chain deposits please click confirm after that you have to sign in your metamask and uh, the funds will be transferred. So, transferred. So, what is um, what's nice with the bridge function is deposit fee is zero percent. So, there are no fees at all. What you demand is what you get. A minimum deposit of five BUSD. A maximum deposit of ten thousand BUSD. Estimated time of deposit is 10 to 30 minutes, and the deposit amount has uh, larger than 2 million BUSD could take up to 12 hours. So, 2 million uh, that's not for today or tomorrow, and only the deposit from uh, will be credited. So, there you go. Let's return to QSwap. Uh, let's see if the funds have arrived yet. So you can see I've got 2.0113 KCS also in my wallet. That is important. You need some of uh, KCS to uh, pay the ridiculously low fees. I still haven't got, uh, I still haven't received my BUSD. That will come. So I uh, just have to wait a bit uh, for the rest. Um, so we're going to add liquidity. Let's take a look at the farming pools. How are they doing? Or my one farming pool I have over here. So USDT cuss liquidity. Uh, nice APRs again, 130.78 plus 002 percent because I'm also staking my CUS governance tokens, a minimum of 50, uh, 50 tokens that I'm staking to get some extra percentages. It's not much, but it's it's uh, all you have, you have. I'm going to return back to that later on. Let's take a look. BUSD arrived yet? Oh, sorry. And my MetaMask is being a bit stubborn. Doesn't want to open. Oh, well, let's start. Uh, ah, there he is. Yep. So there you go, 15 BUSD received. That's okay. So now I'm going to add some liquidity. What to do? First of all, I'm going to harvest the earnings I have. <clears throat> I'll confirm that. Ridiculously low fee again. He's busy. 
there you go and normally i will have received that already in my metamask so that's also a withdrawal i've done okay now i'm going to add some liquidity oh no first of all very uh, important so i'm uh, farming usdt and cas that means that i need some usdt in my wallet also so i'm quickly going to the exchange i'm going to swap not my kcs but my busd to usdt going to max that that will give me 14.94 USDT. Confirm it. Confirm it in my MetaMask. There you go. Close. Now, farms. It is loading. What is happening here? Oh, just a slow connection. Wait a second, guys. I'm going to reload the page. I don't know what's happening. There you go. Much better now. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, in the time uh, the website was loading, I already received uh, 0, 0.00 cus as a reward. But uh, that's not what I was going to do. I'm going to do uh, liquid. I'm going to add liquidity. So I'm going to click here on plus, get USDT cus LP. I'm going to max everything. Oh, sorry. There you go. So I'm going to add uh, 20, uh, 26 uh, cus that is uh, equal to 5 USDT. So, you know, when adding liquidity, you need an equal amount of uh, cus and USDT in this, in my case. So supply, confirm. Confirm this in my MetaMask. And we're going to close that. There is one pending transaction now. So they are adding the, or they are creating the, the liquidity. Have to wait a bit. There you go. That's done. I'm going back to my farm. And already some uh, some earnings, some more earnings that came in. Going to sell plus. I'm going to max. So I'm going to put in my 11 USDT CUS uh, liquidity tokens. Confirm it. There you go. You need another confirmation in MetaMask. Confirm. And that's it. As you see, they have been all, uh, they already have been added to my uh, staked liquidity pool or my uh, liquidity or my staking pool, I mean. <laughs> Sorry. So that's it uh, for that. Let's take a look at QStack, where I stack my Q, my CUS governance tokens. Oops, I'm going to close this. Uh, there you go. QStack.
Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Q stack. Hello. Of course, it's also with the same MetaMask. I've got my Vault U, uh, w, KCS CUS uh, liquidity token pool that uh, I also have running over there. There's no not not, not that much in it, uh, but it is something. At least my crypto isn't sleeping in my wallet. Stake CUSGov. And there I've got my 50 uh, CUSGOF tokens that already that have given me already some KCS. It's not that much yet, but uh, it's auto compounding and I've got an APR of 894%. So it's not bad and uh, I'm not uh, farming or adding liquidity every week I also harvest some cus tokens and I stake them as um, as a cus governance uh, token so uh, I don't add every week how to add governance tokens cus gov tokens you go to governance here in the menu on the left. You fill in the amount of uh, cus you want to uh, you want to add. Here I can't enter enter. Uh, I can't stake or create uh, cus gov tokens because I haven't got enough uh, of cus in my wallet. But you just fill in the amount. You enter CUS amount, you click on that, and your CUSGOV tokens will uh, will be created. So that's it for now. It was a little bit uh, of a difficult uh, video, thanks to my slow connection. But uh, next time it will be better. Bye-bye.